To be honest, like, the less you do in the mix, there's the fundamental things like adding saturation, adding distortion, reverb, and all that kind of stuff. But to get yourself going, to get the mix... What is going on, people? Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are doing well. Today's video, I wanted to talk a little bit about EQing. Not, like, how to EQ, because there's, like, a million other tutorials that you could watch. But I, I wanted to talk a little bit about, like, why you EQ and sort of the mindset before you start to EQ stuff. Because, believe it or not, you can actually kill a mix by over-EQing. And I see how happened so many times and I've heard actually from other producers when they talk about their mixing process and they're like I put an EQ on every single sound I do this to it I do that to it and to be honest like more times than not you don't actually have to do anything and I'm going to explain a few things in this video just to kind of clear things up for you guys and hopefully you know you'll be able to clean your mixes up as well yeah and I'm gonna stop waffling now as always I'm out here making beats so yeah I'm gonna kind of run through those things as I go along let's get into the video right let's cook this melody up got this little guitar melody already Okay, let's just go in, layer it up a little bit, fill the melody out a little bit, add some drums, and then in between it, I'll give you guys some advice. Okay, here's a little trick for you guys, actually. If you want things to sound more like a sample, what I like to do with it is record it in Edison and turn it into a, a WAV file. And then what I do is open up a fruity slicer, drag that. Um, melody into the fruity slicer and you'll get this interface you just need to click this little um, razor arrow and click on beat and what that's going to do is just sort of like give it more of like a, a jumpy sample kind of vibe to it you can add extra things to it if you want but like do that first and it makes it sound a lot better Okay, cool. I've got a good idea for the melody now. First thing that I want to go into, especially with this EQing, is first I want to give you like a fundamental tip that I do with every single beat when I come to EQing. And this is where like I do this on every single beat. I'm not going to give you some wishy-washy advice, you know, as to where like, you know, it's like specific to one beat. This is what I do in every single beat. So once I finish with the melody, um, or I normally do this when I'm mixing it, but I'll do this for the tutorial is once I've finished and I have the full melody down I'll add everything into the mixer. So if you don't have to do that. You literally just highlight everything Like that go to the mixer and I've got most of it in the in the mixer already But if you don't you highlight it go to the mixer right click channel routing and then starting from this track It'll drop everything in. I've already got everything in but except for that I think Right, yeah. What I'll then do is send everything to its own mixer tracks. These are all playing through individual tracks. What I'll do is I'll send everything so it's playing through one track. And uh, I'll show you why in a sec. So all you need to do is click every element in the melody, come over to an empty mixer track, and rename it like melody or something like that. So it's full melody. <clears throat> Cool. And then assign everything to it. So you find the first instrument, right click the mix track that you want to send it to. This track only. This track only. Boom. And make sure that that melody is going to the master, which in my case it is. Okay, and then once you've done that, I just literally, the first thing I do is add the EQ. I'm going to hit the right arrow on the EQ so I get this preset. And I'm just going to cut out the low end. Now the reason why I do this is because when the 808 hits, I want it to hit hard. Most trap beats you want the 808 to come through nice and clean. So you just want to get rid of any unwanted frequencies that are knocking about in the low end. And you know, it's not going to, basically what that does is just leave so much room for the 808 to like really hit and sort of cut through the mix nice and cleanly. So that's the one of the only fundamental things that I do with the EQ. Uh, and I say that's literally one of the only fundamental things. That's what I do in every single beat. But nine times out of ten, I don't really do that much EQing. And I'll explain why in a second. But I'm going to go ahead and add some drums in and it'll make more sense when I've done that. So let's go do it. Hey, 
the bass, and I'm gonna run through a few things that I'll do with the EQ, like with the drums. It's mainly on the drums. Yeah, pretty much on the drums. noticed that I'm actually knocking the 808s up a few keys. The main reason is because that bottom note is really like loose and muddy. So I'm knocking up a few keys to sort of make it sound a little bit tighter um, and sort of cleaner within the whole context of the mix, which does mean I have to knock everything else up in the melody by the same amount of notes. So that's what I'm doing there. Okay, I've got the general gist of where I want to go with this beat. Now I wanted to kind of break down what I do in terms of EQing with the drums. And this is like a mindset thing as opposed to like giving you a specific ingredients or the secret sauce to mixing drums when there is no secret sauce. Um, but basically, I focus on sound selection first. I know every single producer says this, but if you can distinguish the difference between a good sound and a bad sound, and that comes with repetition and making tons and tons of beats. But when you can distinguish the difference between good sounds and kind of trash sounds, then you will not have to EQ that much. You have to do barely any EQing. And the only EQing that you'll do is little things in terms of like, you'll probably just group them together and add minor adjustments to them to kind of bring the drums out over the mix you won't like individually have to tweak every single sound which is what I hear a lot of producers do you know you know I get DMs and they show me like what their, their mixing process is looking like and they basically put an EQ on every single sound including the melody they literally put an EQ on everything first of all that's gonna take up CPU and second of all like the fact that they've tweaked them so much and some of the tweaks are like extortionate they just don't need that amount of attention they don't need that amount of manipulation because the sounds most of the sounds are already there most of the sounds need like a tiny adjustment at, at most um, but like what I like to do and again this is like another fundamental thing but what I like to do is similar to the melody is I'll throw everything into the mixer and I'll make one slight adjustment and I'll show you exactly what I do with it and it, and it doesn't even need the parametric EQ you can literally just use this EQ down here uh, in the mixer so what I'm gonna do is just assign all the drums in to the mixer like so Similar to the melody, I'm just gonna make like a sub bus, so send every single drum to its own mixer track, so I can just put one EQ on it and leave it like that. I don't have to mess around. Just rename that drums. Okay. Drums. Root everything to that track, so I'm gonna color it so it's easy for you guys to see. Okay, that's going there. Okay, so I'm putting every element of percussion except for the 808 running through this drum bus here. So all I'm gonna do is listen to the drums by themselves and all I'm gonna do is, is brighten them up. Most beats that you make in FL Studio or any door, they just need brightening up a little bit. That's what I tend to find anyway. If you want them to kind of sit on top of the mix, then sort of kicking up the high end a little bit just really allows it to cut through and gives it that real sort of crisp and like professional sound to it. So all I'm gonna do is solo the drums play the beat I know you're gonna think this is a pointless tutorial but that is literally all I do to it use the built-in equalizer 
kick the high end up a little bit. And to be honest, like the less you do in the mix, there's the fundamental things like adding saturation, adding distortion, reverb, and all that kind of stuff. But to get yourself going, to get the mix sounding sort of clean in, in a place where you can then add stuff to it and then make sure that it all sounds right in context with the beat, this is all you need to do to it. Short, tiny, tiny adjustments. And the key thing is just to get the right sounds. And like, I know every single producer says it, but getting the right sounds is, it's just important. You just have to do it. So get the right sounds. All you have to do then is make minor adjustments. You can afford to splash $20 or I don't know, however much a, a drum kit is that you need. Like Wave Supply, I think they're $40. I do some on mine at like $10, $15. You can get drum kits anywhere between $50 and like $5. You can even get free ones on Reddit. Like I'm not promoting myself. Just go on Reddit and download some free kits. So yeah, I'm just going to finish this beat up. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. It's Again, it's more of like a mindset when it comes to mixing. Like I had the same problem. Like I'm not saying that I'm perfect. Literally, I spent up until like Christmas, the last Christmas gone I'd, I'd add an eq to every single sound thinking that every single sound needed an adjustment when to be honest most of them don't like especially with the quality of sound you can get nowadays so it's super important just to recognize when and when not to do stuff in mixing that's just it comes with time it comes with repetition but hopefully this is going to stay in the right direction as to like you know you don't have to eq everything so yeah hopefully that helped you guys out um if it did help you out make sure you subscribe make sure you hit that bell i'll be bringing more like cook up videos more tutorials and uh yeah i'll see you guys next time